Hello and once again welcome to Life360. My name is Roby Omondi. For the past four years, I have been privileged to interact with students and leaders from Moringa School, which is basically trying to ensure that any student that passes through Moringa School is a tech savvy in one way or another. We live in a digital era, an era where everyone is trying to dig something in the digital space. When you talk about the digital space and our work environment, AI is coming in real quick. Many think that AI is coming to replace what we do as human beings. However, when you have knowledge about AI, it means you're way ahead when it comes to your employment or your work environment. Students of this year have specifically ensured that they have knowledge about AI to make a difference and to bring a solution to the challenges that we face, not only in Kenya, but in Africa. Come with me as we speak to some of the graduates today and the leadership of Moringa School so that we may understand how is AI shaping and reshaping how we think, how we solve problems and how we make Africa a better place for all of us. Let's go. Uh, so, you know, 2025 has really been the year of AI. That's what everybody's been talking about. And our theme here today is Beyond Code, Shaping the AI Future. So we've been looking a lot at Moringa about how we go about making sure that our graduates are ready for the AI era as they, as they graduate. Whether that's people who have come in for entry level learning and boot camps going into their first jobs, or whether it's people who are already working and have come to Moringa to upskill. And so some of the ways that we've gone about doing that is that we've looked through our curriculum and ensured that we've been able to update that with some AI tools that help people understand how to use some of these tools in the workplace. We also talk to our students about how to use AI as a learning tool, not just to put it in and get the answers, but actually how to use it as a tool that helps you think through the answer, not just put it in and, and you know, get an answer spat back out at you, because I think that's a really important thing when we're talking about learning with AI. And we've also introduced a number of programs. We've been running a free program um, that's sponsored by Google.org around AI for software developers, so that software developers who've been through our program can upskill. And we've also incorporated some other AI programs for working professionals um, around you know, AI and HR, AI essentials, we've launched AI marketing, we're launching AI for agents. So it's been a very big focus for us here at Moringa this year. Well, the great news is that um, in terms of tool usage, AI tool usage, we're at the same place as everybody else, right? Like it's all moving so fast that things are coming to us as they come to the rest of the world. And so in terms of tool usage, that's the case. However, when we talk about things like building AI models and, um, and a broader version, a broader definition of AI, when we talk about actually building AI, then we're struggling with um, compute power. But there's been some really exciting announcements recently about how we're getting more GPUs onto the continent, how there's going to be some AI factories, and we're going to have the compute power to be able to ensure that we are able to build actually AI models and not just be users of it. And there's some really important ways that we are able to um, apply that to different fields that are happening and what we want to make sure at Moringa is that we're actually got the skill sets to be from the talent to be able to utilize this and to be able to help be part of that future of AI. So um, yeah, it's interesting. One part of AI is is robots and uh, you know physical AI, but the bigger part of it is actually more of the the software kind of AI. And so as we look at what our graduates need in terms of their skill sets, we've always focused both on technical skill sets and 
people call it soft skills, I call it durable skills, soft sets, skills. And they're the ones that are going to help people understand how to use AI properly, how to make sure that we're being critical thinkers about how to apply this, how to make sure that we're being ethical about the way that we're applying it, how to make sure that we're actually using it to solve problems and not just as an, as an automated tool. And so they're the focuses that we have um, with regards to making sure that it's not just technical skills, it's also the leadership skills that we need for the future. My name is Shalina Teo. I, I currently work uh, in the agricultural sector and uh, I completed, I've completed my data science course at Moringa. Uh, I joined Moringa because I wanted to understand how data, data can uh, transform agriculture and um, uh, I wanted to use uh, data and uh, machine learning to analyze agricultural data and um, also predict trends and also to to, to make it more sustainable and to improve the farming system and the productivity part of it, yes. Uh, the difference it will make, uh, because uh, with data, you can literally do solve any problem as long as you like uh, you use the right approach and you have the right data you will get the right results yes uh, in in the agricultural sector yeah. i can foresee uh, solving challenges like food security and also increasing like uh, increasing things like crop productivity and also sustainability because uh, with innovation uh, sustainability is always there yes i am william arasira i have taken data science at moringa that's what i'm graduating on today which i'm very excited and I mainly took the course to understand what this AI is. I was previously here and I did software engineering, but I realized it didn't uh, warm, up, warm up my wits. So I was like, let me go for a better challenge. And the fact that I'm doing mathematics and computer science, data science really resonated with me. And I was like, the fact that the world is moving towards AI, I can be amongst the first few, or rather, the first or second because I know people have done it, but I'll be amongst the few Africans that make a leap towards uh, making Africa a better place, especially using artificial intelligence, which sounds like a jargon, but once I learned it, I realized it's something very simple and you can use it in our day-to-day -day activities to make our lives easier and even make businesses profitable and even make impact in health and many other sectors that are upcoming, especially in Africa, which is very important. For me, since I have, interested, if, since I have interest in uh, academia and finance, uh, I, love, I love trading, I love uh, the stock market, and using artificial intelligence, the fact that the stock market or the forex markets are very volatile and they are very unpredictable, using artificial intelligence as a proper tool to make predictive models so that it can tell, it can tell us how a stock is going to move up or down or even a, a certain currency pair compared to manual workloads or, or even reading charts manually, we can use, artifi we can use artificial intelligence to, gi to give us insight on what's going to happen in the near hour, day, or even depending on the time, time frame. So that's why uh, I see AI is going to help. Other than that, I'm heavily inclined into academia. Uh, I want to discover something, especially in mathematics and computer science, or even combine the two. And using artificial intelligence, I can automate my work, or even come up with a tool 
that's going to make artificial intelligence even easier to learn for people who don't know what artificial intelligence is. Well, everybody has everybody has a specific area where they are uh, where they flourish or rather where they are interested. And for me, being in Moringa, more than okay, being in Moringa twice, I did software engineering and now I've done data science, specializing in artificial intelligence. I can say Moringa gives you a hands-on experience when it comes to the technical aspect of things. Leave alone theory, which is important, but when it comes, Moringa really outshines. Actually, all institutions in Kenya, I don't know of other boot camps, <laughs> but it outshines all institutions in Kenya when it comes to the technical aspect of stuff. Students from Moringa, me being a product of it, uh, we are very technical, we are very versatile, and we take things to another level, not only understanding the problem, but coming up with a proper and way more efficient way to solve it, which is, when it comes to the tech world, efficiency always wins, rather than just writing code and solving a problem. You know, how you fabricate your architecture is really important. So that's what I can say Moringa has empowered me and most of my colleagues and uh, actually the school at large, that's, I think that's the philosophy that they have, the technical approach towards stuff. It is very great. My name is Anne Felicity Modoni Moreti. I just I'm graduating today from the data science um, full-time 13 cohorts here today from Moringa School. So I did data science and while you're learning data science, you learn things like machine learning, deep learning. These are the powerhouses that power the AI you see, the popular one, chat GPT, it's an LLM. There are many other kinds of AI. Uh, so how did I use, other than learning how to make it or learning the behind the hood of it, like what makes it work or how it how it came to be what it is. Uh, you, we also had to use it ourselves for learning because it's, it's a very good tool. You know, you, it's, you, it's instead of Googling and having like five million websites there, you just get your answers nicely placed in, a, in one like nice paragraph. So AI is definitely instrumental in learning. Uh, also, it will be instrumental in the workplace. I mean, it's, it's no lie. This, we need to embrace it. I think we already are as a country. We're headed the right place. We are establishing, there's lots of AI hackathons and everything. So to embrace it as we're working, to embrace it like at the workplace would be, you know, use it, use it to plan your day, use it to study, use it to learn, use it to especially learn. I think the biggest part of like an LLM is learning other than of course automating like other things during your day so yeah yes please do and incorporate especially prompt engineering you know you guys think you just ask chat gpt questions there's a, there's a better way to do it when you sit down and you frame your question so that you can get the maximized form of the answer. Because, you know, let's be honest, like me, if I ask an AI something and someone else asks, we, and it's the same question, we want the same thing, we won't get the same result. So incorporate, but you don't have to do computer science or iso kubwa kubwa iso You just, you can do a boot camp if you're in a Kuezesha, can take an online course. Just be curious. It's all about curiosity, by the way. Okay, I think Kenya, specifically in terms of Africa and other countries can hear me, we're headed the right direction, definitely. We are, I'm seeing a lot more people knowing more than just chat GPT, baby. You know when you ask a common person, they're like, ni chat GPT too, kuna zengine? And people actually know them. So that's an indicator, as well as people are using them a lot, like to learn especially. I've seen even to learn like programming, to learn like very different skills, even like I saw a chef who gets her recipes 
from there. Start your businesses, by the way. Give it, tell you if you want to start a business. Itakutoleapo, your directions, how you're going to do it, who you need to talk to. It will even draft for you emails. So as a nation, we are headed the right direction. But in terms of comparison to where this thing was discovered, I'm not saying we can't. We definitely can with the right facilities and I think the country is getting those facilities. But we are not at par. We're not hatuko hapa. Lakini tunakuja very quick, very very incoming. Um, hi, my name is Denise Wamboy. I am part of the career services team here in Moringa and I lead the graduate support and alumni engagements. I think for us it's very important for us to keep up with the trends that are going on in the industry and one of the biggest things is of course encouraging students to explore AI in how they do their coursework, how they're learning, but also another step further is being able to partner with different people within the industry to kind of explore how they can be able to apply AI in the real world and this could be through innovation challenges, hackathons, um, and any other job opportunities that might expose them to AI. So for us, our biggest thing is collecting feedback from the industry because at the end of the day, they are the people who are supposed to be hiring them and then it also gives us a little bit of guidance in what is needed. Um, these days, we don't just want someone who's technically sound, but someone who is all round. So one of the biggest things that we have focused on is being able to take some of that feedback and then include that in our coursework that we take them through from the very beginning up until the very end. And we also do offer any other soft skill support after graduation up until 12 months. Following up is very integral for us because then it informs that what we're doing is relevant in the market, but also at the same time making sure that we are offering the absolute best support we can give them as graduates when they enter the market. So um, we follow up with them in a variety of ways. We do have um, follow-up calls that we conduct, we have surveys, um, we also do hold a variety of events, both virtually and in person to try and connect to them and see where they are at, what they're currently doing and how, how we can also support them more in their current journey.